Hey Mech Warriors, Jonathan here at Night Knowledge. My last video showed you why I thought the Kentaro is the best medium mech, in my opinion. And while it may be a highly effective mech for nearly the entire game, you may be interested in knowing what might be a powerful heavy mech that you can use in your heaviest engagements. Today I'm going to show you my number one recommended heavy mech that I think you should be using in Mech Warrior 5, the Warhammer. Let's get started. The first thing we'll do is look at the entire stable of heavy mechs in the game. What I'm looking for is a mech with decent speed, the ability to hold many weapons, both long and short range, and preferably of different hard point types, for the weapon hard points to be spread out and not concentrated on a specific location or arms. We will avoid hero mechs again because you'll be spending far too much time trying to find them and aren't always better than the normal variant. There is only one variant for the Archer and while it has some nice large missile slots and two center torso medium energy slots, the other two energy slots are in the arms. The Black Knight, while great for end game lance mate mechs, is too energy dependent for my tastes. The Catapult's best variant, in my opinion, is the K2, but suffers from a bulging center torso and fat arms. I like the Ballistic Hardpoint in the torso, but the Cataphract would be a better mech if it had another large energy hardpoint. The Dragon is a nice, fast mech, but suffers from a lack of weapon variety and concentrates their one big weapon in the right arm. I like the large energy hardpoint in the center torso of the Grasshopper, but is otherwise an energy boat like the Black Knight. The Jaeger mech can hold an impressive amount of ballistic weapons, but is rather wide and concentrates too many weapons in the arms. The Marauder focuses too many weapons in the arms as well, and like the Catapult, has a bulging center torso. While the Orion will be able to carry a wide assortment of hard points, many are in the arms. The Quick Draw is a fast heavy mech, but is typically an energy boat. The Rifleman is just a lighter Jaeger mech with the same drawbacks. The Thunderbolt has some good variants, but is on the light side and has awkward hard points like a small missile hard point or a singular large energy arm hard point. Although the large energy hard points are in both arms, the rest of the weapons are spread out on the side torsos of the Warhammer. We are specifically looking for the Warhammer variant of the 6R. After speaking with my best friend Eric today, I realized I may not have highlighted what made the Kentaro better than other medium mechs like a Centurion or a Hunchback with an AC-20. The reason the Kentaro is so strong is because while I can do spike damage and core enemy mechs with ease, the two medium lasers can be used to take out the majority of vehicles and while on cooldown, the SRM-4 on the left arm can target something else. This means you can switch targets extremely fast. Because unlike other MechWarrior games, in nearly every mission in MechWarrior 5, you'll encounter anywhere between 15 to 30 vehicles, 10 to 20 turrets, and 8 to 16 plus enemy mechs, especially at higher challenge levels. And due to the current state of our pitiful Lancemate AI, the game relies on the player to deal out the most damage and take out most of the enemy units, otherwise our Lancemates will take too much damage. A mech with an AC-20 or any other powerful weapon like a PPC means you have very little ammo or, or will have long cooldowns before they can be used again. Each shot will matter that much more and these precious seconds means that your team is taking more damage. The Warhammer, in my experience, was found most frequently in the House Karita territory and Merrick territory, but that doesn't mean you won't find it in other high-level industrial planets. Similar to the Kentaro, unfortunately, the Warhammer seems to be a rarer kind of mech compared to other mechs, but don't let that discourage you. Getting a powerful, well-balanced mech is always worth the effort in finding it. 
So we'll end this video on how I step-by-step -step spec the Warhammer. Simply strip the mech, add max armor. Instead of having PPCs in the arms, which requires more pinpoint precision and generates more heat, replace them with large lasers. Because they are in the arm slots, I try to avoid using level 2 plus large lasers, but you might reach a point in which you find many to purchase or from salvage. They are worth it though, because they'll increase your range dramatically. If you have them, the Warhammer is a great mech to equip medium pulse lasers with, but if you don't, the normal medium lasers will do fine as well. Equip two machine guns with only one ton of ammo in a leg of your choice. Equip two small lasers in the small energy slot. Fill up the torso with as many heat sinks at this point, reducing the head armor appropriately. So combat will usually follow the same pattern for a Warhammer pilot. Use the large lasers together to take out any helicopters or distant vehicles. Once you get within 280 meters, engage with everything in your torso and stop using your large lasers. You will be able to constantly shoot and not overheat this way. Once the majority of vehicles are destroyed, you can engage mechs. If you have heat to spare, quickly dispatch them by using the large lasers as well. And that's basically it. The gameplay is proof enough showing how the ability to take out enemies at long range and being able to lay down constant ranged attacks without overheating makes the design of the Warhammer 6R the best heavy mech out there in my opinion. I personally love the idea of piloting a Marauder mech into the battlefield, but when I know I need to mow down my enemies, I'll always switch to my Warhammer. So that concludes today's video. Thanks for joining me today. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite heavy mech is and what loadout you use. Check out the rest of my channel for other videos on MechWarrior 5, video games, board games, and other fun things. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Look out for further hostiles. Target destroyed.